The Qasim rocket Arabic, Sawik al Saruk al -Qasim, also Qasim, is a simple, steel artillery rocket developed and deployed by the Izad Din al Qasim brigades, the military arm of Hamas. These rockets cannot be fired to target specific military objectives in or near civilian areas, and are indiscriminate when used against targets in population centers." Three models have been produced and used, the first being introduced in 2001. More generally, all types of Palestinian rockets fired into southern Israel, for example the Palestinian Islamic Jihad al-Quds rockets, are called Qasims by the Israeli media, and often by foreign media. The international community considers indiscriminate attacks on civilians and civilian structures that do not discriminate between civilians and military targets as illegal under international law. History of the Qasim Origin Qasim rockets are named after the Izad Din al Qasim brigades, the armed branch of Hamas, itself named for Izad Din al Qasim, a Syrian Muslim preacher whose death during a guerrilla raid against British mandatory authorities in 1935 was one of the catalysts for the 1936 39 Arab Revolt in Palestine. Topic: Rocket launches. The production of Qasims began in September 2001, following the outbreak of the Second Intifada. The first Qasim to be launched was the QASSAM-1, fired on October 2001, with a maximum range of 3 kilometers (1.9 miles) to 4.5 kilometers (2.8 miles). The first time Palestinians launched rockets into Israel, rather than at an Israeli settlement in the Gaza Strip, occurred on February 10, 2002. One of the rockets landed in Kibbutz Saad. Two Qasim rockets landed in the southern Israeli city of Sterot, the first city hit, on March 5, 2002. Some rockets have hit as far as the edge of Ashkelon. By the end of December 2008, a total of 15 people had been killed by Palestinian rockets since attacks began in 2001. Since 2000, Palestinian rockets, which include the Qasim, alongside others such as the Grad rocket, have been used to kill 22 Israeli citizens and one Thai national as of January 9, 2009. Topic: <laughs> Rocket design and cost. Topic: The rocket. The Qasim rocket is the best-known type of rocket deployed by Palestinian militants, mainly against Israeli civilians, but also some military targets during the Second Intifada of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. According to Human Rights Watch, Qasim rockets are too inaccurate and prone to malfunction to be used against specific military targets in or near civilian areas, and are mainly launched for the purpose of harming civilians. <laughs> Design The utility of the Qasim rocket design is assumed to be ease and speed of manufacture, using common tools and components. 
To this end, the rockets are propelled by a solid mixture of sugar and potassium nitrate, a common fertilizer. The warhead is filled with smuggled or scavenged TNT and urea nitrate, another common fertilizer. This is similar to the civilian explosive ammonite. The rocket consists of a steel cylinder, containing a rectangular block of the propellant. A steel plate which forms and supports the nozzles is then spot welded to the base of the cylinder. The warhead consists of a simple metal shell surrounding the explosives, and is triggered by a fuse constructed using a simple firearm cartridge, a spring and a nail, while early designs used a single nozzle which screwed into the base. Later rockets use a seven-nozzle design, with the nozzles drilled directly into the rocket baseplate. This alteration both increases the tolerance of the rocket to small nozzle design defects, and makes manufacture easier by allowing the use of a drill rather than a lathe during manufacture due to the smaller nozzle size. However, due to the cone shape of each of the seven nozzles, the interior of each nozzle requires the use of a lathe, as it would otherwise be cylindrical rather than conical see rocket engine nozzle. Unlike many other rockets, the nozzles are not canted, which means the rocket does not spin about its longitudinal axis during flight. While this results in a significant decrease in accuracy, it greatly simplifies rocket manufacture and the launch systems required. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Cost. The cost of the materials used for manufacturing each CASM is up to $800 or €500 in 2008 per rocket. Reaction Israeli reaction The introduction of the Qasem rocket was unexpected by Israeli politicians and military experts, and reactions have been mixed. In 2006, the Israeli Ministry of Defense viewed the Qasems as more a psychological than physical threat. A 2008 study found that over half of Sterot's residents have been hurt, either physically or psychologically by the use of Qasems. The Israel Defense Forces has reacted to the deployment of the Qasem rockets by deploying the Red Color Early Warning System in Sterot, Ashkelon and other potential targets placed at risk. The system consists of an advanced radar that detects rockets as they are being launched, and loudspeakers warn civilians to take cover between 15 and 45 seconds before impact in an attempt to minimize the threat posed by the rockets. A system called Iron Dome, designed to intercept the rockets before they can hit their targets, has been in use since March 2011. A system based on lasers Nautilios, was researched in a joint Israeli-American project in the early 2000s, but was discontinued. <laughs> <laughs> Palestinian reaction The Palestinian president Mahmoud Abbas stated, there is no justification for rockets from Gaza or anywhere else." He later added, "...rockets attacks are in vain because they do not bring peace any closer." 
Ibrahim Kraysha, the Palestinian envoy to the United Nations Human Rights Council (UNHRC), stated in an PA TV interview on July 9, 2014, translated by MEMRI, that indiscriminate Hamas rockets from densely populated residential areas are crimes against humanity, while Israeli strikes are legal responses. From others According to a public document issued in July 2014, Amnesty International has documented that Palestinian armed groups have stored munitions in and fired indiscriminate rockets from residential areas in the Gaza Strip, and available evidence indicates that they continue to do both during the current hostilities, in violation of international humanitarian law, under international humanitarian law. Parties to the conflict must also take necessary precautions to protect civilians in their power from the effects of attack. This includes avoiding, to the maximum extent feasible, co locating military objectives in the vicinity of densely populated civilian neighborhoods. This means the parties should avoid endangering civilians by storing ammunition in, and launching attacks from, populated civilian areas." Human Rights Watch issued an analysis, stating, that, "...such weapons are therefore indiscriminate when used against targets in population centers." The absence of Israeli military forces in the areas where rockets have hit, as well as statements by leaders of Palestinian armed groups that population centers were being targeted, indicate that the armed groups deliberately attacked Israeli civilians and civilian objects. Furthermore, the public document by Human Rights Watch stated that Hamas, the ruling authority in Gaza, is obligated to uphold the laws of war and should appropriately punish those responsible for serious violations. The international community considers indiscriminate attacks on civilians and civilian structures that do not discriminate between civilians and military targets as illegal under international law. An online clock timer, developed by Aaron Friedman and Yehonatan Cyrilnik, that automatically resets when Palestinian rocket attacks on Israel occur, uses information from the IDF Home Front Command system and counts time up from the last Palestinian rocket attack on Israel. It displays how long Israel has been rocket-free and shows the summed-up total numbers of Palestinian rocket attacks on Israel. Israel has been under non-stop rocket attacks for years, whenever a rocket is fired, it restarts. Sadly, this counter never really gets above an hour," Friedman said on July 18, 2014 during the 2014 Israel–Gaza conflict. An amateur YouTube video, showing the Israeli Iron Dome defense system at a military checkpoint near a crossing into Gaza taking out multiple Qasim rockets in less than a minute, got viral in just one day since being uploaded. The online newspaper Arutz Shiva reported on August 27, 2014. Topic. Similar Palestinian rockets Other Palestinian militant groups have also developed homemade rockets. The media generally refer to all Palestinian high-trajectory rockets as Qasim rockets or Qasim missiles, while they call most rockets fired from Lebanon. Katyushas, 
As a Katyusha is not a specific model but rather a generic class of rocket. Palestinian Islamic Jihad, Al-Quds 101 and two popular resistance committees, Al-Nasser 3 Tanzim, Sariya 2 Futter, Kafata Israeli Intelligence and Terrorism Information Center estimated that in 2007 the proportions of rockets fired were, 34% Palestinian Islamic Jihad 22% Hamas 8% Futter 6% Popular resistance committees, 30% unknown. The Intelligence and Terrorism Information Center reports that the number of Palestinian rockets fired per year were 2001 to 4, 2002 to 35, 2003 to 155, 2004 to 281, 2005 to 179, 2006 to 9. 146 2007 to 896 2008 to 2048 topic see also Ababil 1 improvised artillery in the Syrian civil war